Greetings, everyone. Well, I have a rather interesting story today for you. Uh, a couple days ago, I had this vision of Papa John's. You know, what I saw was that sign, Papa John's. And it was if I was standing in the parking lot and watching delivery cars leaving the store, everybody was receiving Papa John's. Now, it didn't say pizza. Of course, we would know it was Papa John's pizza. But it's the name, Papa and John. Because I believe, you know, John, he was the disciple that Jesus loved. Jesus didn't say that. John said that about himself. He never called himself by name. He always said the disciple that Jesus loved. He had such an intimate relationship with our Lord that he knew that he was loved and he knew who he was in Christ, who Christ was in him. He was like the ultimate disciple. And I believe that's why the Lord chose him. One of the reasons the Lord chose him to receive the book of Revelation. So I believe it's at this time, we're going to see a great revelation and impartation of Papa's love being released in the body of Christ. You know, Bob used to say that um, of the Godhead, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the first revealing was that of the Son. When he came to earth, he was the first one being revealed. Then on the day of Pentecost came the Holy Spirit. And the third revealing or revelation would be that of the Father. And the Father heart of God is love. God is love. He is love. He is life. Oh, God is love. So that's what's getting ready to be. I, I believe it's always been released, but I think the body of Christ is going to begin to walk in a higher revelation of it. And not, you know, it's not just enough to for us to understand love, but we need to be love. We need to walk in love and display that God kind of love, unconditional love to everyone. You know, if we are to walk in his likeness, then we need to be like him. He loves unconditionally. So I believe that's a message that's going to come forth. You know, Bob's death experience from uh, 1975 that was a question that was asked when every person stood before the Lord is, did you learn to love? Did you learn to become like Jesus Christ? You know, can we walk in that unconditional love? When somebody does something wrong to us, can we love them despite what we think? If we truly love, then we forget the offense and we love them and we walk in love. Uh, the other day I had, uh, I was my granddaughter was with me. We were in the falls and early in the morning, there came a knock at the door. I was awake and we were staying at some people's home. I thought the lady was knocking at the door. So I said, yes, come in. And no one opened the door. So I got up and walked to the door and there was nobody there. And I asked her later, did you come to the bedroom door? And she said, no, she wasn't even up at that time. So I believe the Lord is knocking at the door of our heart and he's asking that question. Did you learn to love? Will you follow me? Will you love unconditionally? Uh, you know, pizza, we always think about pizza being an Italian dish and actually it is not. I was researching that a little bit. It says that uh, it actually started um, its roots came from the Middle East, like ancient Babylonians and Egyptians began making flat bread baked in mud ovens. Now, it doesn't sound very exciting, <laughs> but later that flat bread, they added oil and spices to it. Now, think about that. You have the bread, the bread of life, and the oil of the Holy Spirit, and you add the spice to it, okay? Now, I believe we're getting the fragrance of heaven come to us. We're having the fullness of the Godhead being revealed to us. 
and we're the only ones in all of history that's been alive to receive it. You know, think about in the um, Old Testament, they heard God and then they chose not to, but they had God who was uh, kind of an angry God, right? And now we have Jesus who came and gave his life for our sins and he he's given us the freedom. We get to choose to follow him. We live in a time of his grace. I think sometimes we take grace uh, too far. You know, we just think we can do anything and get away with it and then just repent. But you know, repentance is turning. It's not just saying, I'm sorry. Repentance is a turning, a total turnaround of our heart and the things that we have done that we need not to do. It's turning and going the other way. So I believe that we're going to see a true heart of love coming forth. It's God's always wanted to reveal his heart to his children. But I think sometimes we've been too hard hearted. Maybe we just weren't ready to receive it. But now I believe this is going to be released from heaven we need to pull it down. We need to receive it and release it. We need to walk in love. Um, you know, God is light. First John, you know, if you read John, the Gospel of John, and then First John, Second and Third John, you'll just see how he walked in love all the time. But First John uh, one seven says, "If we walk in the light as he is in the light." We have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sins. See, Jesus came to take our sin away. He came to impart, in place of that sin, he gives us his love. And we have known and believed the love of God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. That's First John uh, 4 10 so we become as he is we become like him so it's what we behold is what we become like if we're beholding our uh, YouTube channels and you know whatever I don't know all those things I don't like to do Facebook and all that but if we behold those things we're going to become like that that's going to become the God and the idol in our life so what are we really beholding? What are we putting in front of him? You know, we should look in the mirror and be able to see Jesus because we should become like him, okay? We are, we're made in his, in his likeness. He created us to be like him. So I believe we're going to see a great revelation of the love of God revealed and an unconditional love. You know, love uh, should be the center of our heart. And just like John, I think, like I say, just read in the Gospel of John, he never talks about himself, only the disciple that Jesus loved. Wouldn't that be neat to just say, not my name, just the saint that Jesus loved. He loved me so much. You know, there's nothing that I want to do apart from him. And I feel like he doesn't want to do anything apart from me. He wants me to part, be a part of everything that he's doing in the earth. And we should all be that way. He wants us to take part in the Great Commission. He wants us to be part of the harvest. And, you know, he's given us plenty of opportunity. We just need to walk in love. Forgive quickly and don't hold... Um, just don't hold judgment against people. Release things. When God forgives, he forgets. And that's where we can, we can forgive, but oftentimes we don't want to forget. But if you truly walk in love, you will forget the offense. When you forgive, you forget. Okay? So, get ready for Papa John's to be released. I believe it's the Gospel of John. John 1, 2, and 3, and it's all about Papa's love. Papa's love is going to be imparted.
to the body of Christ. And you take that into your workplace, in the school place, any place that you are, you take it with you and release that love. It's not just good enough to receive it, release it in Jesus' name. Now, Lynn and I are holding a conference uh, April 2nd. It's a Saturday, and we hope that you can be a part of it. It's um, it's done by Zoom, and I believe you can go to our website, didyoulearntolove.org, or YouTube channel, or Facebook channel, and sign up for it there, because we want you to be a part of it, okay? So till next time, be blessed and learn to love.